What is up guys, it is Nalen and we're back with more This is the Police and uh, where we left off Atticus Tower just, um, stopped our deal because I helped out a candy factory that they wanted to destroy. Uh, the church is involved in some shady stuff and I think we're going to have an interesting day. Tainted blue velvet party cookies can cause convulsions. Study finds stray dogs more dangerous than sharks. Radio stations face additional tax. Uh, ooh. Police station says mystery mark. I guess my snitch died. Didn't come in. Drank too much. No. Drank too much? No. Farther walk? Nope. I don't care. I do not care, guys. You are going to show up and work. Alrighty. Unhappy. Losing another slot. Last year we actively fought against unregistered business activities and gray companies who shamelessly use loopholes in the law. We've tightened some rules making it more difficult for fraudsters to rent business premises and import goods into the city. Of course they immediately become outraged and threaten to form a protest. Permission of the use of force is granted if required. Okay. Okay. So that is shift A they died, wasn't it? I have to send swap, paddy wagon, and four officers. Well, they better show up. Jack, the mayor is acting illegally in the interest of his friends from the major corporations, which are literally destroying our community small businesses. Many of the initiatives are contrary to federal law, and if the police end up using force, then you will be the one who takes the rap. Cover your ass in case things get ugly. Uh, Hollinger drinks a lot, so we can do that. I have no issue with that. Sorry, buddy. The school principal called in to report an altercation which occurred in the school cafeteria. Hey you, fat cow, where's your udder? Yelled Miguel Marquinos to Emma Hadzik as she passed by his table with her lunch tray. Flash out the offender. Teachers don't want to interfere. Miguel had it coming. He definitely did, but we need to send some people. Jezebel Escalante was walking in the park earlier and saw a strange man dressed in a police uniform. He's going around yelling at people, showing him, them his gun and threatening everyone. Then ran over to the dogs and rolled around in the grass. Clearly not in his right mind. Clearly. We only got uh, 78 more days left. Mission from God. Oh my gosh. Uh, seeing the police, the man walks up close to the outfit. is obviously from a costume shop, but the gun looks real enough. Officer, you urgently need at the police station. Mr. Boyd, I have long turned a blind eye to the activities of the woman clinic, which in essence is an abortion clinic for sluts. Happily, the management humbly recognized our sin and delivered to our church plenty of nutrients necessary for the preparation of our divine powder. But recently, the hospital replaces Chief Doctor and he refuses to continue honoring the arrangements established by pious predecessors. Fortunately, I was able to quickly find an alternate supplier and our production was not affected. However, this upstart doctor needs to be taught a lesson in Christian humility. I'm sure you have people who know how to cut out a man's pride with a scalpel. Damn. Alright. Why not? We'll send some people. Yeah, we'll suppress it by force. I'm not taking the fall for it. This guy is. He's been working 17 days and has alcohol problems. I don't know what kind of framework we put on him, but uh, he's getting hit. I need uh, City Hall on my good side. Ooh, bomb threat. That's not good. Uh... Sounds like a prank call almost, but, uh, 
We'll send four. 42 bucks. This guy is a cheapskate. Hell yeah, I'll send two. Ooh, this is actually kind of weird. We just framed, uh, like, framed him for something, didn't we? And now he's dead. <laughs> How does that work? Am I, am I going to take the fall? Oh, he's dead too. The Freeburg Police Department taking out alcoholics one employee one employee at a time. Drug addict at the rehab center stole an expensive respirator and locked himself in a closet. Nurse tried to reason with him, but he just hugged the apparatus and insisted it was his property. Yeah, I suppose. What do you do? Try to help him up. He grabbed a knife and stabbed him. Oh, okay. I didn't read through the entire thing. I was just like, that doesn't seem so bad. Decided to disrupt school. Yeah. I think that's one of those things that might get you expelled. You call that in. If you guys didn't know, I used to work at a school. He, I was a lunch man. Lunch man, Nalen. Theft. Guard at a large toy store detained a boy who he suspected on theft. Uh, I'm sure he stuffed something down his pants, but I couldn't find anything. He wouldn't stop crying. Alright. So I wonder if City Hall is going to be a bit, you know, happier now that we did that stuff for them. We received an anonymous tip today. Later this evening, a large shipment of heroin will arrive in the port. Cargo is well guarded, and according to the source, the drug runners won't be giving up without a fight. <sighs> Hold that thought. I need more men. Alright. I can send this many. Five, and uh, support seems good enough to me. And then I got one. People will come back. Child's mother severely scolded the guard and took her frightened son back home. Damn, that guy lost his job. 100%. Yeah, so I guess I am getting hit with this. Uh, because this guy's dead. October 26th. I don't even know what day it is. Oh, two days from now. Okay. Need some people to come back. There's really nothing they can actually do to me at this point. Like, my salary is already $50 a week. How much more can they uh, find the police chief? Heroin. It's getting sold to the mafia. Let's go. Oh, shoot. I need to um, hire a snitch. Forbes, you're our new snitch. Yeah, I've lost a lot of officers, so. 295 for 88 is not bad. That's like almost 2 to 1. Well, that is over 2 to 1, yeah. 3 to 1, maybe. Behind the bar is a young guy with a piece of glass in his hand. The friend bartender is in tears. Hey, buddy. We got a bottle of whiskey in the car. That's how you get them. I just want to have to sip my water, and there's more. Unlawful assembly, a crowd gathered in the shadow of the casino, chanting slogans recommending the pro prohibition of gambling in Freeburg. Gambling's a disease, or so they keep repeating. Yeah, it kind of is. Paddy wagon and five is good. We have all the required frames for this. Nice. I'll take a look at that in a second. Do I have all the required frames for this? Have all the required frames. Far out. So what's going on here? 11 year old by the priest. So this is the priest. There was no force, so there wasn't that, I don't think. I don't know. Mother and I were about to leave when Father Huber took me into his office, told me to read the Sermon on the Mount out loud. OK. 
Okay. So I guess they were singing, leaving, taking him with him, reading. Uh, I don't know. Top button shirt, didn't like it, didn't say anything, pulled out a camera. There we go. He's probably at the cathedral. Oh, I don't have any officers to send. Well, we'll send two. And the SWAT. You're getting swatted, bro. It's over, you're cooked. I am so glad I got that first try. Like, I didn't consult the Wikipedia or anything. I just got the big brain on. At 3 a.m., the priest probably isn't at the church, though, is he? Wrong place, yeah. Dead. Dead. Oh, shoot. Let's ask him into work tomorrow. Surely he will come in. Uh, Foxman, J. Boogie, Kodal. Let's ask him to come in. Day 103. Uh, we'll do this day and then we'll call it a video. NGO distributes free condoms in city center. Writer Ivan Baikov presents Magnum Opus. Police brutally crack down on peaceful protests. Oh, uh, excuse me, guys. Didn't come in. Didn't come in. Didn't come in. Didn't come in. No, you're saying. Can I fire these people who are just not coming into work? Like, not showing up to work. Like, oh, gosh. 53 bucks. Nice. So who are these people not coming into work? Was it This is shift A and you're at home. Yeah, you're getting fired. You're getting fired. You're getting fired. And you're getting fired. It's like why am I keeping you on the market if you're not going to show up? All right, we're on a SWAT, J Boogie, Proctor. I feel bad calling that guy in, but I really want to catch these guys. Some crazy man in a clown suit stopped on a school bus. Driver pulled over, threw a grenade inside. That sounds horrible. We'll send four. Yeah, it's already eight in the morning. We got like only two cops left today. Fight. Uh, we can send two. Six drunks had too many drinks. Yep. Did we get him? We got him. Children are crying but quietly sitting in the bus. Outside the bus, there's a man in a clown suit giggling. Shoot him with a taser. He's done. If that didn't activate a gang or anything, I feel like that would have uh, hide in. Oh, I can read this. Uh, what is this? Recent years of struggle to keep the store open. The location isn't very good. Not a lot of foot traffic. Not too many casual shoppers. The best Halloween costumes in town. All right, an hour before the estimated time of Mr. Sahak's death, the camera across the street caught only a few people. Two twin girls. A tall man in a gray coat. And a bearded homeless man searching through garbage cans. It's probably a man in the gray coat. Died from a gunshot wound to the chest. Uh, the head was cut off slowly with some difficulty. The whole shop floor was covered with blood.
Yeah. There we go. Uh, we'll hold off till tomorrow. When we have more people. Alright. Hold that thought. We'll send someone. We'll send them. May not accompanied by hippie girl dragged a very yellow monkey out of the cage. Yeah. There we go. Store employee knows a woman who resembles the famous swindler Lee Kuan Yew, whose picture has been on TV many times. No. That's racism. Not real. Not sending anyone to that. I don't care. As soon as I saw the the Asian name, I was like, nah, this person's mistaken him for someone else. Man in a clown suit entered a bank, presented the cashier with a check of for two hundred and fifty billion and demanded that they cash it. I don't think you can cash something like that. Guaranteed, boys. Oh. It wasn't... It was the actual person. Okay. You win some, you lose some. Five armed robbers broke into the bank, demanded access to the safety deposit boxes. Well, I'm just glad to have extra people here. We'll send SWAT. Prank calls are getting more complex. There we go. So far, nothing too crazy happening. Hopefully, City Hall is happier than they were before. I saw the Atticus Tower. I suppose we'll go over there. Uh, a fresh scandal, one of their clients is accusing them of inflating her insurance premium. They probably were. <laughs> they are shady. Absolutely. Betty Sanchez told the police that she accidentally discovered some shocking entries in her husband Victor's private journal. He's planning to enter the train station and break open a large capacity storage tank filled with mercury. Victor hasn't been himself as... Since our son died serving the army. That sucks. Uh, that should be plenty. Alright, what's 21? That's 9 o'clock. I don't think anything crazy is going to happen for the rest. Some sort of serial killer? Eh, he's probably doing his job. Here we go. Massive fight at 11 p.m. Why? Don't people have better things to do than fight? Alright, these people will come back and then we'll solve this. I'll send them all. And hopefully they don't ask for more. So I don't got more people to spare. Let's see. Gravedigger. Kind of figured it was something like that. Place has turned into a real battle. More workers joined in to help their friends. Fire several shots and ask him 
Fight Grind said, hold two athletes approach, please. The fuck you think you're doing here? We got this. We don't need you. The men look quite menacing, armed with bricks and ironwork. Tase them. I would have gotten out more than the taser. It's like, really? Uh, let's ask these guys in. They're still in the green. All right, we're going to call an end to that video. I don't know how long it's been, but I feel like it's been long enough. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.